nice horse. Look here, Mars. Look here, Mars. I am Titus Pullo. These bloody men, my gift to you. Thank the gods you came. I'm extremely grateful to you. Hi. <laughs> Listen to me. I order you to release me this instant. Fine way for a slave to talk. You won't get far with a mouth like that on you. I'm no slave. I'm Gaius Octavian of the Julii, great nephew of Julius Caesar. Gaius who? I am a Roman citizen of noble birth and I order you to cut these ropes. Say please. Please. Be assured you will be amply rewarded for your services to me. See how good he talks? He's convincing, I'll give him that. Caesar will prove who I am. Take me to him. We cannot do that as yet. We have orders. What orders? We to retrieve Caesar's stolen eagle. Caesar wouldn't pull a hair for his eagle. You're on a fool's errand. If Caesar doesn't care about the eagle, why did he send us to find it? It would look strange if he made no effort. Actually, losing the eagle is useful to Caesar. Why would that be useful to Caesar? Because Pompey is no deep philosopher. He will take a symbolic loss for a real weakness. Explain. Caesar doesn't want to strike the first blow against an old friend. So he wishes to lure Pompey into attacking him first. Pompey will only do this if he believes Caesar is weak. No. They're as good as brothers, those two. When Julia died, the last true bond between them was cut. Caesar has taken the love of the common people from Pompey. And that was his most prized possession. A battle is inevitable. Blue Spaniards. 